My name is H.J. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterprofa.com. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. Kathy Griffin beheads Trump in photo many call unacceptable tasteless. This is a USA Today article. Kathy Griffin, who has never been shy about provoking people with her comedy, has really done it this time. She had herself photographed holding a mock decapitated head of Donald Trump. Griffin's many critics on the right and the left responded with outraged tweets mentioning these sorts of sentiments. She's pure evil. <laughs> She's a dumb idiot. She's not funny. Now the U.S. Secret Service says it's looking into what she's calling an expression of art. But what was the point of her photo shoot with, Ty with Tyler Shields, a self-described artist, photographer, famous for edgy, edgy imagery? He posted a YouTube video of a shoot with Griffin in which she, de she declines to explain much about what they're doing or why they're doing it. In it, Griffin, wearing a blue dress, is shown holding up a head, streaked with what appears to be blood, of President Trump by the hair. At one point she drops it, another point she jokes to Shields that they're going to have to run away to Mexico after the image goes, go, images go public. I won't give away what we're doing, but Tyler and I are not afraid to do images that make noise. But first I'm an artist, but it's good lighting. Okay. Um, the images were published by TMZ on Tuesday ahead of the official release. She also tweeted a video clip of the photo shoot and praised Shields on Twitter. The blowback against her was immediate and ex uh, ex excoriating. President Trump did not respond, but his eldest son, Donald J. Uh, Trump Jr., tweeted, Disgusting, but not surprising. This is the left today. They consider this acceptable. Chelsea Clinton was just as disgusted, tweeting, This is vile and wrong. It is never funny to joke about killing a president. The Secret Service tweeted they were on the case, noting... <laughs> It's, quote, robust protective intelligence division that monitors open source reporting and social media to evaluate threats. Threats made against Secret Service protectees receive the highest priority of all of our investigations. Many tweets urged people to denounce Griffin to CNN's advertisers. Mm. So we talk about Seth Rich. Oh, my God. Hannity talks about Seth Rich. I'm not a fan of Hannity's political views, but Media Matters goes nuts, takes an economic stance, president with his head cut off, no advertisers, uh, apparently CNN's advertisers are okay with this, she was compared, okay, so I'll say this, number one, I like uh, Kathy Griffin, I think she's a great uh, comedian, number two, I think it's horrendous. You sim simply don't cheat Bernie Sanders. I'm talking to every person in Hollywood who on Twitter is, is like this warrior against Trump. First of all, Trump plays the media and he plays every person who thinks that he's going to be impeached through Trump Russia. He's not going to get impeached. Every tweet, every innuendo or hearsay or gossip relating to Trump Russia is based on it, the NSA's moderately confident assessment. The DNC has never given its computer servers to the FBI. I stated that in my RT segment when talking about Seth Rich. So we have unsolved murders. We have, it's not a botch, Seth Rich didn't die from a botched robbery. So we know that. Kim.com has evidence regarding Seth Rich being the WikiLeaks source. Sean Lucas did not die because of a combination of three drugs that are very chemicals that are very difficult to, com uh, to combine. Barrington uh, J. Wesnant Jr. did not die from simply falling into the ocean and then, you know, somebody hit him on the head or shot him in the head and then threw him in the ocean. The DNC fraud lawsuit that Jared and Elizabeth Beck are championing is the biggest story in addition to Seth Rich, Barrington J. Wesnant, and Sean Lucas of our time. Those four issues are the biggest stories, and nobody's talking about them. And Kathy Griffin doing something, I mean, it's not just, if there was some kind of artistic merit aside from shock value, then I'd be open to a discussion about it, but it's obviously simply shock value. 
And just shock value relating to killing anyone but hurting, harming the U.S. president is, it's disgusting, it's vile, it makes no sense because you're not, you're actually empowering President Trump, you're empowering the GOP, you're giving them more power. I don't think Kathy Griffin understood this when she went ahead and, and maybe it was, you know, a financial motive, whatever. I think she's a great comedian, but you're actually, when you do these types of things, whether it's, um, Madonna saying that she wants to do something to the White House or Kathy Griffin or um, all of these people suddenly they come out of the woodwork and they're so, um, oh my God, they're going to go up against, uh, fight the power and, and go up against the uh, right wing and even hitting a Nazi or that guy, you know, that one guy getting hit in the face. These, this is, these are, or protesting right wing speakers at Berkeley. This is not, this actually helps the right. I don't know if you understand this. I'm speaking to the people who think this is a good thing. If you hate Trump, then you need to make sure that your disdain is geared directly towards the DNC and Democratic Party. The Democratic Party cheated Bernie Sanders. That's why we have a DNC lawsuit. You need to reform and completely restructure and completely transform the DNC, the paradigm, that cult mentality that states anything we do is okay because the right is worse. If you don't do that, that's why there are people who don't get it. Like, well, you know, look at what Trump is doing. How do you think Trump was elected? Because you elevated Trump, we know this from the WikiLeaks DNC emails, and you cheated Bernie. And by the way, if you are quote unquote progressive and you don't support Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and you don't admire what they're doing for humanity, then you're not progressive. That's just you're a neoliberal slash um, person who really doesn't want the truth. What they did with the DNC and Podesta emails was publish information that explained Bernie Sanders was cheated. Bernie Sanders would have defeated Trump easily. But that 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 narrative or those facts, because that's a fact, Wisconsin hasn't voted for a Republican since 1984. Remember that when you see Kathy Griffin with the photo. Remember that Michigan and Pennsylvania haven't voted for a Republican since 1988. Remember that when you see Kathy Griffin with the, uh, the headless, uh, you know, Trump photo. The Democratic Party is the reason we have immigrant bans. It's not the right wing. It's not Trump. It's, you, if you go ahead and you, you jump in a cage with a lion, don't blame the lion. Blame yourself for jumping into the cage. Look in the mirror, Democrats. Look in the mirror, DNC, or people who are the, quote, resistance. You look at me, or you look at Tim Black, or Nico House, or other people, Caitlin Johnston, uh, Zach Haller, George Webb, Jason Goodman, uh, or Jared Beck, Elizabeth Beck. You look at us, and, and there's others, and you say, well, you know, how come you're not rallying around the Democratic message? Well, because we didn't vote for Trump. <laughs> that's if you are against Trump then the last thing you should do is a rally around the Democratic Party B do things to empower Donald Trump you are empowering President Trump by doing something so foolish as to take photos with him with his head cut off you need to and I'm speaking to Kathy Griffin or Madonna or anyone, if you really don't like Trump, you could also have the same shock value by telling the Democratic Party to fuck itself. See, I'm doing that, and I have, you know, I'm not a big movie star or I'm not a big comedian, but my voice is being heard. Your voice would be heard exponentially if you told people like Keith Olbermann and Howard Dean and, um, you know, all the I'm with her crowd and the resistance and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC and the Democratic Party. We told them that they are at fault for Trump. It feels great to do so. Leave the cult. Leave the cult. You're in a cult right now. I'm speaking to you, Hollywood uh, celebrity or 
uh, person who hates Trump, who's part of the resistance, who would get more offended by a tweet than us accidentally bombing civilians under President Obama and now with Trump. How about an anti-war movement, Kathy Griffin or uh, Madonna or anybody? How about discussing and addressing the fact that we still haven't coped with Bernie Sanders being cheated? The DNC fraud lawsuit is being waged by Jared and Elizabeth Beck because Debbie Wasserman Schultz deliberately, deliberately lied to millions of people, as did Donna Brazil. It's very difficult to speak to people who are so brainwashed, and I'm not talking about Kathy Griffin, I'm talking about people who read the uh, Mother Jones or The Nation now, who really think that Trump colluded with Russia. In 2015, I stated in The Hill, The Huffington Post, and Salon that Clinton could not win. If you cared, you would have not tried to silence anyone who warned you. There were people who knew Clinton would not win, but you wanted to have your cake and eat it too. You wanted everything. You wanted to cheat Bernie. You wanted to elevate Trump. You wanted to do everything, and you wanted to have the, the first female candidate be the most unethical, immoral, criminal, if, you, if she intentionally, which she did, put special access program intelligence on a server that was unencrypted for three months. That's a criminal act. And she did that intentionally. She's not stupid. Hillary Clinton is not stupid. She's not as, she's not as much of a moron as uh, James Comey would like us to believe she is. So I can go on forever. Um, I know I have many, many very, very wonderful people intelligent people, people I respect greatly, who, who say, oh, H.A., what are you doing? Focus on Trump. Focus on Trump. But you're part of a brainwashed mentality if you only focus on Trump. The Democratic Party is the reason we have these right-wing or conservative uh, policies. It's not the Republican Party. You're going to have a Republican eventually. You're not going to have a Democratic president forever. But when you cheat Bernie Sanders and you destroy the progressive movement in the Democratic Party and you cover up the deaths of young men or men in their 30s and 20s who should be alive and you say they're botched robberies or they're chemical overdoses or they're just washed up on the beach and you don't think that has anything to do See, I'm not saying Debbie Wasserman Schultz killed these people. I'm not saying that Hillary Clinton killed these people. I'm saying it has something to do with the Democratic Party. That is not like st stating uh, the Russians hacked the DNC. They didn't. The NSA is moderately confident for a reason. They're bluffing. So give me your thoughts below. Kathy Griffin doing this only helps Trump. So I and, and it's obvious you're not, you're not being tough. You're not being, uh, you're not making a statement. You're actually helping Trump and undermining any effort to get a Democrat or a progressive elected. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.